Hi, this is a tutorial for those of you who have been developing locally with MAMP Pro and are ready to upload your new site to your server. Um, you may have been using what I use now is the .dev extension just to differentiate between the live site and the uh, local host site. But of course you're going to need to move this site to the live server at some point. So uh, let's do that now. It's not too hard to do. There's a couple tools you'll need. First you'll need a, a hosting account <laughs> and um, basically we'll start with that. So this is uh, my local version here. It's just a little test site here that I'm going to be moving to um, daintree.ca which is uh, Hopefully, it's uh, on my hosting account that I found. I have an old host monster one here, and I just sort of set that domain to hopefully work on this at some point. It says up to 24 hours to set, but uh, it should be there soon. Uh, I haven't used this one in years, so um, I don't really use host monster anymore, but I still have this one hanging around, so we'll use that one. Um, what do we need to do here? So, first thing to do is make a backup of this site. Now there's a couple backup plugins for, for WordPress and one of the ones I suggest using is called Updraft Plus. You can use get the pro version if you can, but the non-pro version works great and does all, all the things crapped out on me basically. Did. They've all had a corrupted database or something at some point when I really needed them and uh, Updraft Plus has not. So. There you go. It's my plug. <laughs> We're not going to use that right now. We're just going to do a simple uh, zip and uh, go. So on my local host here, um, I have my Daintree site and my doc all my files right here. Let's just uh, zip that. Compress that down. And we're also going to have to go over to our uh, PHP and min on our MAMP site here and find the uh, database and let's export that. So custom select all, save that. Um, let's see where is zip? Is it down at the bottom here or at the top? Compression, haha. Zipped. go. All right, so that's done. So we have our files and our database. Next step is to upload them to our server. Okay, you're going to want to uh, upload your directory, zip directory to the server now. So just to choose the file, and I've already done that, I've uploaded it. So if I go back to my file manager here and reload, I should have the zip folder there. So I can uh, extract that. So everything's in here. Just copy all those and drag them to your public HTML folder. Don't need that any more. Hold on, I made a boo-boo. Put this back where it belongs. This should be going into this folder here. That's better, I think I got them all. Delete that one. And we'll just keep that one handy for now. Next step is to uh, get our database up. So go to PHP My Admin on your server. And we're going to import our SQL database. It's down here. I'm 
choose the file and go. Okay, successfully finished. Now this is going to work for uh, a single install or a multi-site install. It doesn't matter really what's, what the difference is. Just upload your, your database and just upload your directory. And this is the fun step now. We're going to do a database uh, search and replace. And we're going to do it directly uh, on the site as is right now. So there's a, a little file that you can upload called uh, database search and replace script in PHP by Internet IT. Uh, I always download the stable one. <laughs> It's always good to do that, and I've had no problems with it in the last three years using this. Um, so show, show it in Finder. We're going to upload it to our... Um, you sort of want to hide it because you want to use it and then get rid of it on your server because it is a, a major security thing, so definitely do not uh, leave it there. So let's make sure we're in the folder. I'm just going to create a new folder called... Uh, uh, I don't know, change or something like that. Okay, and I'm going to upload that file. If we go back here, reload, and uh, extract it. Okay, so this is the, the, the title of the script we're looking for. So we're going to go to our um, website and do the, the search and replace right now. And don't forget to update your wp-config.php on the server to, for the database information and uh, make sure there's no spelling errors. All right, so now we should try looking at our website. So there we go. So once you have the proper uh, username and database connected that you've uploaded, you can go to your website and you will have the front page. Now you will not have any other page. So if we go to a page, we're going to go back to our, you're going to think you're there, but you're actually on your development site here. So the next step is to change all the URLs on the website in one shot. So back to our search and replace that we've put in the change folder. And remember, uh, delete it immediately off the website since it is a major security uh, risk. So do not keep this on the web server because you're going to see why not in a second. So I'm just going to get the name of this here. So if we go to our, uh, oops, back to our live site here, we can just look the folder change and then put in our script and we're going to be brought to the page where we do our work here. So database name, username, password, make sure to remove any extra spaces that can trip you up when you're copying and pasting. Okay, so then we're brought to the next page here. You're going to want to select all these. Continue. Okay. So we're going to scan these, and now what we're looking for? Well, we're looking for daintree.dev. Now, depending if you use www or not, which I do not use, uh, you just need to type in HTTP, your development one, and replace with your new account on their live site, and you're going to submit this string. So make sure it's just it's just the HTTP without the backslash or anything like that on both of them. 
So once we do this, it's going to ask if you're sure. Yes, we are. And it's replaced 11 tables. It's changed 61 database updates performed. So that's all we need to do. We're basically done. We have to go back and remove this, but just uh, in the meantime, we'll go back to our main page. Oops, sample. Oh, I know why. <laughs> We're going to have to change our URLs to, so that we can, we can sign in now anyway. Settings, permalinks. I didn't set my permalinks to a, uh, just a post name. That's all we need to do. And that will fix that. So now when we go to the website, that should remedy that problem there with the 404s. You probably already set that uh, on your local host. I just this was just a brand new WordPress install, so I had not really set anything up. So you will probably most likely not have that problem. But here we are. Our URLs, the the final one where we are, and there's actually no problems here at all. You, you'll find it works very simply with multi-site and uh, a single install to get it to the server. Hope that helps, and good luck.